Yeah, so guys, and welcome to day five of the ten pounds so rare road to glory. So we have five days in. We are over thirty quid, and uh, I've been spending a little bit of time off camera doing a little bit of research so that in today's episode I can bring you the first entry level investing. And in today's episode, the winner of ten pound so rare credit is going to go to. So Rare Limited, and there is his club name. If you guys would like to enter today's £10 So Rare credit giveaway, all you got to do is like the video and leave a comment on your manager name. And if you guys are interested in signing up to So Rare yourself, there is a referral link down below. Once signing up and winning five cards on the bidding market, you also get yourself a free limited card. But please do be responsible because, of course, you can lose money as well as make money. So we've managed to sell on two players between last episode and this episode, which has actually then sent me onto a bit of research, uh, and therefore I do have today's, I guess, first episode about investing. So without further ado, let's just walk through the two investments we've gone and sold on. First player we sold on was Al Adam uh, Saladana. We've gone and sold him, or picked him up there for 27p, and flipped him there for 55p. And the second investment, which is Thomas uh, Geberer, who we picked up here for 54p, and sold for 82p. So the trend that I've recently copped onto is European discard goalkeepers. So I've done a little bit of research off uh, camera and I've also picked up some deals off camera. So let me go and show you through this trend. Again, this is such a simple trend that works week in, week out. Does not matter on the performance of the goalkeeper. It is just a case of uh, users doing the same predictable trend every single week. And this trend is with European goalkeepers. It is of European goalkeepers who play in the top leagues, and it is also of European goalkeepers that play in the bottom leagues. So I came across this trend because I was flipping a Thomas uh, Gebera, and I noticed a very, very easy trend with this guy. And the trend with this guy is if I look at a one-week trend, we can see that there's kind of a bit of a, uh, a trend with the graph. So what I'll do is I'll load this up. And we can basically see that on a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right here, we can see that the prices are higher. We can see that he's consistently selling right here for 80p, right? So we are basically here. See, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, they're quite nice and expensive. But what we can see right here is we can see that on a Saturday, Sunday, we're on a Tuesday right here, Monday, Tuesday, they're nice and low, which means again, we go Friday, Saturday, they're nice and low, Sunday, they're nice and low, Monday and Tuesday. So what basically happens is there's a big drop off and they go like that. And then going back into the uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, they are back up again. Boom. And I can show you this trend just if I show you the month, right? We can see that they are low, and then they go into the weekend, and they are high. We can see that they are back being low again, and again going into the weekend, they should be high. Uh, there might have been less demand because some of the European leagues weren't back at the beginning of the month, but obviously more of them are back now with the Austrian uh, Bundesliga being back, and, uh, and so on and so on. So he's back up again. But I can also show you this happening with a... Um, a champion Europe goalkeeper, aka a goalkeeper in the top five leagues. Once again, here's the one week trend. So here is them being expensive on a Thursday, Friday, uh, and here is them dropping down on a Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So once again, they go up here all the way to a quid or 80p, and then they're really easy to pick up at about 40, 50p midweek, because again, no one's buying them. And then they go up going into the weekend. Again, I can show you a third example right here with Dennis Petrick. But it's just a very, very consistent trend, and it happens week in, week out. It is that they will rise going into the weekend, but they will drop going into the early weekdays. And what I do is I then head to goalkeepers. Uh, I just have the minimum at 68p and the maximum there at 98p. And then what I do is I look at the newly listed ones. So then a goalkeeper will go and pop up. Let's say, for example, uh, Roman uh, Salin. And then I head over to my database. So we use Sora Base, because again, that's kind of what I'm using to trade up until... Uh, we take a little bit of money out the uh, total and start using Sarah data. And what we can do is we can go and see what he normally goes up to. So he normally goes up to, let's throw this into pounds. He goes up to a solid 90p. So he goes up to a solid quid. Um, now recently, a few people have gone and picked him up for 70p. I'll be honest with you, I'd probably go and try and pick him up for about 50, 60p. And then just go and sell him on the weekend for a quid. Uh, there's nothing too crazy, but it is a very consistent trend that I would you know, heavily back and be very confident on. Um, and these cards pop up on the market left, right, and center. So if you don't win one, you can win the next. So I guess if you're on lower, you go 50p. You literally win in there at 50p and then go and sell them for a quid over the weekend. And on top of winning the cards on a buy now, you can actually win the cards on a bid. Uh, all you got to do is just head over to the bidding market, then go and put your price from 41p to about 65p, uh, and obviously go and put a position to goalkeeper. Now, you're not looking to bid on every goalkeeper here because some you'll just be wasting your time. 
for example, if I was going to go and bid on the likes of Fraser Forster, he really goes for about six quid, so I'm never going to win him for 50, 60p. So what you want to be doing is picking a European goalkeepers and making sure they don't normally sell for anything more than £1.50 and then just throwing out a 55p bid. If you want to make sure you increase your success rate, don't bid on anything that sells for more than a quid normally. But uh, yeah, just another alternative way of getting yourself some more goalkeepers. And not make it too boring, just before the video even started, I kind of just went and picked some of these players up just to see how easy they were to pick up. Really, really easy. All these players I want to pick up for 55p. I've got them listed for 82. I maybe could go and sell them for a little bit more, but obviously... In this road to glory, I quite like selling players quite fast. We can get on to the next player. But uh, yeah, I so say in turn, I think all of these are just going to go and make me £1.20 um, from, I think, like a £2 investment. So not too bad, but just a very early investment in the road to glory. I also went and picked up this guy uh, for 27p, who we're also planning to flip him for 55p. I managed to go and pick ourselves up a, uh, another goalkeeper. This time we've gone and picked up the new season of the uh, Nicholas uh, Penetou who uh, had decent success last week. Uh, you have multiple cards go and sell on there for a quid. Uh, we've gone and picked him up here for 55p. So um, I don't think it's showing the new one quite yet. But yeah, picked him up for 55p. Going to go and sell him on for, I think, 95p. So another little 40p profit. And once again, a very, very simple investment. So we've got to go and give you guys a nice little update because I'll tell you what, it is looking very, very good. Now, I picked up two more goalkeepers. Uh, and that was a Michael uh, Gorvin, who we went and picked up for 55p. And then we picked up yet another Thomas Grabber there at 55p. You can see we had three. But I've already managed to sell both of them. Um, there we go. We've managed to sell on the Michael Gorvin right here for uh, 95p. Literally within an hour of buying it, I believe. Yeah, within an hour of buying it. And then managed to sell on the uh, Thomas uh, Grabben right there within uh, an hour of buying it. So not too bad. So between those two, we actually made £1.22 profit. Both buying and selling the card here within, um, within an hour. And uh, yeah, we've got more money to go and buy more players. I'm not like this is very good as well because the demand for them should only pick up during the week. So right now I do have one, two, three, four, five. Obviously previously I had seven. But if I can just keep stacking these, not only could they sell midweek because this guy is interesting as well. Because the person who's bought both of these is has obviously gone and bought them for their team. Now he's pre bought that one for the second division, for a second division team. And that one for the, um, for the champion Europe sort of thing. But uh, yeah, it's brilliant. So we've managed to get a sale on one of the players we bought just the other day, which is a Han John Mu, who we only picked up for 41p, and we managed to sell him today for 97p. So we have just got an absolutely insane amount of goalkeepers um, to end off the episode. So let's go and walk you guys through the goalkeepers we managed to get and what the profits are looking like. So the goalkeepers that we have managed to pick up is a Michael McGrover for 55p, going up for 95p. A Nicholas Penatu, who we've gone and picked up for 55p, going up for 97p. A God, Yoshi Kodomoma, who we've gone and picked ourselves up for 41p, selling one for 83p. A uh, Kenneth Verma, who we've gone and picked up for 41p, selling for 95p. A Flores Fate, who we've gone and picked up for uh, 41p, selling for 95p. And a Cressavan Santiani who we've gone and picked up for 41p, going to list up there for 83p. So, uh, yeah, very, very successful haul, leaving us on £36 to go with. And uh, I guess I've kind of achieved what we set out to do in today's episode, which is pick up loads and loads of goalkeepers, mainly going to be the uh, European ones. And the idea is that you'll see me sell them, hopefully, all by Thursday, Friday. So that is going to wrap up today's episode. As I think it's been very, very successful. We've obviously shown you guys a nice little investment, and we've made a nice bit of money on the investment. Now in tomorrow's episode what we're going to do is we're actually going to be talking about the budgets of loading up so rare because I presume a lot of you guys watching are still quite new to so rare and I'm going to talk about do I think £10 is actually a good budget to start so rare or should you maybe start with maybe £20 or £50 uh, just off of my experience of trading on here for the last year. But that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you once again for the support in this series and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new episode.